InfoStealer Malware collects passwords, credentials, web browser cookies, account session tokens, stored and cached information, anything sensitive it can find when it infects your computer. And then all that data and stolen info is packaged up and sent to the hacker, the threat actor and the adversary, where they might put it public on the internet or make it available for sale on the dark web. And there is one interesting thing that happens when InfoStealer Malware runs. It takes a screenshot. It takes a screenshot of your whole desktop, literally a picture as the malware is invoked and ran. So what we'll do in this video, a little bit of a fun exploratory video, is actually look through some of those screenshots. Some of the info stealer screenshots that are taken at the exact moment that someone was hacked. We're gonna dive into this, but I literally have a folder of all of these info stealer screenshots. And hey, if you happen to, I don't know, see your own desktop or you recognize, oh, yourself in this video, well then, uh, um, sorry. <laughs> Look, you ran the malware, it wasn't me. Your data's already for sale on the dark web, all right? With that said, okay, I know this is a little bit of a squeamish topic, but genuinely, literally, this is what cyber criminals get to see. And I think it's worth knowing the adversary, knowing the offense so that you could have a better defense, and if just to make you aware and a little bit more educated as to how so many people get hacked, especially from info stealer malware. And I will, of course, obscure, redact, and blur any sensitive info that's, you know, just humanely appropriate, but you know, let's dive in. Oh, this looks like a wide monitor. So we might need to zoom in a little bit here. This individual was on their web browser. You can see Google Chrome here, uh, browsing for a Hades 2 trainer. Hades 2 being the video game. You can see a standalone version to download, auto updating version to download. I'm gonna assume Hades 2 cheats. Look, this is malware. This was the info stealer malware and it probably invoked just as he was downloading it, running it right in the moment. Couple ads for Baldur's Gate, Mini Settlers, Scourge, I don't know. Uh, some of those games. I, I'm not a gamer, I gotta admit. Like, I'll play a little Super Smash Brothers. So if you wanna hack me, hey man, 1v1 me Ganondorf, all right? A lot of this is in a language that I don't understand. A couple of these. Drew University, though. Oh no, final exam review. He's a chat GPT. Oh, another tab open here to download cheats and everything you might have in their bookmarks. But hey, goodness, poor fella. Look, please let this be a lesson for you. Uh, downloading game cheats is one of the most surefire ways to get yourself infected with malware. Oh, this one was uh, just looking at his HP security. I think that's what that is. Yeah, C Windows System 32 Task SQL Writer. Is that the malware I'm gonna assume? Cause task, that's the location for scheduled tasks, is it not? I might be wrong there and totally making a fool of myself. But there are the alerts as you are actively getting infected and it's taking a screenshot of your computer. <laughs> Ease Us Partition Master. I feel like I've seen that online. I feel like I've seen that tool looking around before and I don't know if this one was just infected, but that did not uh, do well for them. Maybe it did successfully partition their hard drive. I guess we'll never know. Whoa, what is this? You in PowerPoint? <laughs> did PowerPoint end up running the malware? Was there a macro attached to this thing? Tattoo, or tattoo, apparently. Uh, they're getting a tattoo. Jeezum, this is huge. You don't need a tattoo. This just rent a billboard. Oh, that has uh, the person's name in the top right. Okay, well, we'll redact that one too. What was this person doing? They got notepad open for what looked like would be like an INI &I file and a, <laughs> a shell 32 DLL trying to reference an icon or something there. I don't know what Limpa Pen is or PJE Office Pro, but they have a Windows Defender alert popping off right there. Yeah, you're getting hacked. <laughs> At least I hope that's what that says. I'm assuming, I, I realize I don't know that language. Can we get something in English for me? I'm sorry, I'm clearly like not worldly cultured and all, but this poor person was, uh, I don't know, seemingly something with Google Drive. You could see some icons that I'm, I'm sure are very personal for their documents and uh, notes, so I won't touch that. But Roblox is in there. Okay, Roblox Player, Roblox Studio. We know how this happened, everybody. Case closed, we've got the diagnosis. Roblox is just a rat's nest of malware. And when I say that, I mean Roblox mods, right? Roblox hacks, Roblox cheats. Usually when you're downloading those video game hacks, those video game cheats, whether you see on YouTube or whatever, that is more often than not malware. What is this? Just someone's active downloads? I guess they had idman 64 build 10exe God of War 2 trainer, that'll do it. Windows desktop runs. Okay, some stuff to just probably run it, but RPAC launcher v3? Uh, what is RPAC launcher? Euro Truck Simulator 2, okay. 
oh, this one is pretty clear cut. I'm assuming uh, downloads folder, right? Hey, looking at our pack launcher v.34.579, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the application here, the actual executable is totally a different version number. Uh, so that's something a little bit weird. G2M.dll. I wonder, look, I don't know about these file sizes, but I wonder if a lot of that is in the DLL itself. Totally, totally guessing. I have no clue. But <laughs> there's a folder for McDonald's. Steam, Visual Boy Advance. Oh, nice. So if you don't know, Visual Boy Advance is one of the emulators for the Game Boy Advance. Not that I know. I wouldn't know that. Uh, but hey, I'm a big fan of the Game Boy Advance, as you know. Uh, a little bit of Pokemon here and there while I could. Pokemon Crystal was my uh, very first ever video game. Oh, speaking of Pokemon, they've got Pokemon Super Pack set up. It's got Lead Speak in there. Is that malware? <laughs> Probably. What is going on here? What is the desktop wallpaper? Is that the periodic table of elements? Why is that your wallpaper? Are you doing your homework? Oh, it's our pack launcher again. This is a separate victim. All these screenshots are separate individuals, by the way. Uh, separate incidents, separate malware infection. Different our pack launcher, totally different version string. Is that different? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay. I don't know what our pack is, but that's clearly bad. <laughs> Roblox, of course. Opera GX in the mix. Dude, we're in gamer territory right now. We're gaming. Oh, this must be it. This is Repack Games? Repackgames.com, Hitman 3 Deluxe Edition, and they just have these downloads here. I'm going to assume, I, and again, I, I could be wrong. Please, let me know. Correct me in the comments. I'm happy to be schooled here, but... Definitely the Discord world, the Roblox world, the game cheats, game mods. That is where there be dragons. And look, there's another one. Look, language that I can't read, but R Pack Launcher, different version, R Pack Launcher again. Dude, they're trying to download Wo Long Fallen Dynasty? This one from Fling Trainer Download Site. That doesn't sound good. Oh, look, right there. Hey, there's Repack Games once again. And, oh, they, <laughs> they have Elden saves over here. Look, it's wild because obviously the game hacking, the game cheats, the game mod one, like that's going to affect the end user, the individual, like, I don't know, the kid, the teenager, someone trying to do their homework or play games to relax. Not typically, oh, some business or organization or company, like a business email compromise or employee worker bee. Uh, if, however, you're doing a lot of work from home, in that case, hey, your, your son, your daughter, your family members might be using your computer. If you have, for whatever reason, a shared computer, uh, we have to redact all of those. <laughs> oh, there's our pack launcher again. All right. That is just the theme of this video. Sorry. I know I was rambling, but what I'm trying to say is that's still an attack vector. That's still a threat just to say, look, game hacks or whatever. Someone DMs you on discord. Oh, look at the game that I made. It's malware. Holy cow. This whole video is going to be about our pack launcher. How many folks has this struck? This poor person has a school folder, a construction technology, basic of design. Oh, so innocent. So innocent. There it is again. Repack games. Download is ready at that F-Ling trainer download site for F1 2013 free download. YouTube on another tab. All right, hang on. Now, before we go too much further, let me tell you a little bit about how I got all of these InfoStealer malware screenshots. And that is all thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Flare. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I am a huge fan of Flare. Seriously, I think it is so cool. They have such an incredible data set, and it's all about the threat exposure management platform. It's working with cyber threat intelligence, knowing what your exposed attack surfaces, and knowing risk for your company, your organization, your business. Just as I mentioned previously, when a hacker, threat actor, adversary compromises you, your data, your information, your computer, or your company and business, they tend to put that information out on the internet. Whether it's the clear text public internet, like GitHub repositories or pastebin sites, or just throwing it into Amazon S3 buckets, or they put it on the dark web. Well, Flare is going to track down all that information on the dark web and collect all that. Whether it's shady forums, marketplaces, ransomware, leak sites or even like cybercrime telegram chats. Flare is super duper cool because you can create your own identifiers. Things for your name, for yourself, your company, your business, whether it is like a website domain, name, email address, a keyword, even an Azure tenant IP address, username and password, all this stuff. And you can toggle these on and off and see what's going to come through in the events. I've hopped over to the events tab and it's just going to look by default in my tenant. You can see, hey, some folks chatting about me or my name. Uh-oh, John Hammond getting more clickbait and shittier content in the meantime. Dude, two 
too real. <laughs> but look at how you can change the severity, whether it's low, informational, medium, high, critical, etc. Or you could change the dates. Hey, the range of when you're looking for things, different categories for what you might be searching for. Like lookalike domains, leaked credentials, or on the open web, paste bin sites, as I mentioned, source code and GitHub repositories, hosts, buckets, etc. Or the illicit networks on the dark web. Marketplaces, forum posts, cybercrime chats, etc, etc. Now this is one of the craziest things. This is a new feature in Flare. If we actually unselect all of them, I want to look for these infected devices. And these are the hosts that have, unfortunately, had their information compromised. You know what? Uh, let me switch to the global tab. So we're just not looking at my tenant, uh, and we're looking across all of Flare's collection here. Now, you will need to enter a search term when you're using the global search, but if we are looking in the infected devices category and looking at the hosts that had info stealer logs already out and about, could I just be looking for something that has a screenshot? I'll do screenshot.jpg. I'll hit enter on that. Let that search for a little bit. There's a lot of flair to look through. They have a ginormous collection and they are constantly adding to it literally every day. But okay, tons of stuff coming through. Here's a result very, very recently. You know what? Let me change the date too because I don't want to get anyone. Wait a second. Look at that. That's like 2 million events just about in the last 30 days. All right, let me toggle this uh, date range. All right, I'm just looking in May, so it's a couple months back. There are results coming back though. You can see some of the log entries that might have 48 credentials, some that have two credentials, some that have 27, all of these being shared in chat rooms or forums, chat rooms or forums. I believe they also have some for like premium locations. Uh-oh, some of the more internal, exclusive, and only access granted by invitation that they've uh, made their way into, right? So let me look at one of these that has all these credentials because I think one of the cool new features of Flare that I think is just awesome and incredible for research is that now you can see everything from the info stealer logs. You can see the malware information. This was redline stealer. You can see the file location where this came from. It went actually detonated. Build ID, obviously username and information, location, hardware ID. But the content here is where they've made this really crazy. It's all organized. It's all clean. You can see the operating system that it was able to extract. You can see the screen size. You can see the IP address, whether or not user account control is in the mix, if it elevated as a process, stuff that the info stealer malware would be able to track down. And uh oh, there's the screenshot that it took. Flare will just extract it out. Flare will grab it, show it to you, and that's wild. Now that is something that I am searching for. If I were to remove that search here, it'll show me all of the other files present just as well. As I scroll down, you can see autofills from the Brave web browser, from Google Chrome, from Opera, cookies in each of those, Steam in the mix, File Grabber getting some account fruit battle. <laughs> Anything that might have been on their desktop, if File Grabber, the capability, functionality of the info stealer stole that. Opera Stable, of course, the screenshot. Domain detects important autofills, installed routers, passwords, process list, user information. And there are the credentials. Obviously, a lot of Roblox in the mix there. Facebook, Google. That's just wild. That's just crazy to see. Discord Canary. Like the fact that that data is available and you can use that to arm yourself, again, or your company or your business to say, look, these are the pieces of data that have already been exposed and are out on the internet. Those are the things we need to fix. Those are the things we need to change. And I can hold either myself or the people accountable as to what accounts need to be cleaned up, removed, remediated, recovered, etc. So cool. Obviously, this is just one result and entry, but we could just keep scrolling. We could keep exploring. You could search for whatever. You could see anything and everything here. This poor fella playing games. It's always the games. This one's on YouTube. Uh-oh. Someone probably in their downloads folder again. Want to keep scrolling down here to see what else we might be able to see. I don't know what that is. Oh, cheat engine's in there. So yeah, probably something wild. Defender control, open source Windows Defender disabler. Mmm. And I have not even mentioned their credentials browser where you could, hey, track things down for any exposed email address, username, password, domain, or reverse domain, stuff for supply chain risk, whether ransomware data is affecting you or your organization through however many layers of things going wrong, malware and cybercrime, or just threat flow. Hey, stuff happening, current events, news that might be pertinent and important for you and your business. Now, if I may say, I tend to think that Flare is just the go-to company for breached identities, for no that exposed risk and threat vectors. I don't think I'm going too far out on a limb here. I think they honestly have like the best data set out there. 65 million logs with one and a half million new logs imported every single week. That's crazy to measure. But I know that there's an estimate that at least 10% of those are corporate credentials and business PII. It's wild that that is out there. And I think it's information that you should be armed with to better defend yourself. 
All right, I'm sorry. You all know that I love Flare. Well, let's just get on with the video. Back to looking at InfoStealer malware screenshots. What do we got here? Oh, I think this is just more RPAC launcher. Okay. <laughs> hey, downloaded League of Legends, Konami, FIFA 23. Uh, okay. What the heck is this? The secret Edelier free down? Um, okay. I don't know about that one. You know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just crop that out. Let's just make sure that's not in the shot. Repack games though, once again, and COD Game Pass. <laughs> oh boy. Holy crap. It's always this thing. It's always our pack launcher. Is this just like Redline Info Stealer freely available? I don't know, included in every single download from that website? That's insane. Parsec, <laughs> you got Rust Desk in there. And that's McAfee down there. Oh, it didn't, didn't, didn't help on this one. Whoops. <laughs> Another repack games, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Okay, oh, this is uh, Roblox. Mm, at least just happened to be running when whatever malware evoked. This <laughs> this one's pretty 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 plain, pretty boring, just the Windows desktop. Utorrent and Opera GX in there, but I don't know, did it just, was it Persistence that kicked that off right as login? Oh, actual Roblox in-game for that user. Oh, that shows their username. Sorry, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Oh, poor fella. You can see the download cheat evolution app right over in the top left. You can see the, the web browser in the background. <laughs> 10 best anime like, oh, okay. We are in a place right now. We are part of something. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of a New Era. You know what? You gotta give him credit where credit is due. Gotta give the devil his due. That's, <laughs> that, that's just the loading screen for Amnesia. That's just the, the start menu to Amnesia the Bunker the game. Did it just trigger as you, I don't know, downloaded this cracked copy? Holy cow, I don't think I can show this. They have some questionable uh, bookmarks right up there. Uh, I'm assuming, oh yeah, uh, unpack the archive contents, run the trainer, and then the game. Yep, more game trainer malware. Ooh, that's a gorgeous wallpaper. Pretty clean desktop. No, nothing going wrong there. Nothing, nothing going down. Just some games in the bottom and a nice wallpaper. Okay. Ooh, were they watching just a YouTube video? How to reduce input delay and boost FPS in Fortnite season OG. Okay, yeah, fine. They must have downloaded something and are trying to follow this guide to see it in action. <laughs> that's malware bites down below. Whoopsies. More repack games. Uh, Living with Sister, monochrome fantasy free download. Don't know what that one is. I'm not gonna comment on that, but they're opening Task Manager because they're probably realizing, uh-oh, something's weird. They, they, I'm sure they saw like the three command prompt windows open and then got a little sketched out, you know, like people do. Open up Task Manager, try to see what's going on. Yep, oh, it was malware. You're infected. Redline Stealer, Jupiter Stealer, Vidar. <laughs> laser Gun Simulator. Okay, that's an ad. The, the Laser Gun Simulator is an advertisement, but Roblox for Wipe Fallen Survivor. I'm so sorry. I'm really, I'm so sorry. Flynn Trainier, that's another download. Uh, Alan Wake 2 is down there. Another Flynn Trainier, yep. What, where am I? How did we get here? Where, where, what is this? What game is that? I don't, I'm done. Take this away from me. Get this off of my video, please. More Fling Trainer downloads. Sea of Stars, Trainer again, Diablo 3 build, you can see in their bookmarks, Diablo 4, yep, yep, yep. Ooh, uh, J Downloader 2, is that a torrent, torrent tool? Trying to get Retro Gamer English and you can see some avatar, blah, 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 blah. Haha, <laughs> Opera GX, baby. Okay, the browser for gamers, here we are. We're back in this, we're back in gamer mode. RPAC launcher, once again. Pixel shit, apparently, voice mod. What the f- <laughs> Set up and installing Microsoft Office 2023 Pro Plus 365 Plus Crack on your computer. <laughs> I like the desktop wallpaper though. Oh, they got Cheat Engine over here. All right. This person was just watching YouTube, it looks like. Robbing an entire dealership in GTA 5 RP. Okay. Oh, Spotify opened another tab. Yeah, listening to music. I don't quite know what would have triggered... Info Stealer malware here. Uh, granted, look, we are only seeing one monitor in case maybe they were doing something in another monitor and this image is just one that it captured on one or the other. Oh, Sea Cleaner. Wasn't Sea Cleaner good? Wasn't it like that? Is it malware now or is there are there some versions or copies obviously that just a bundle in and include malware in there? This person has a desktop folder called All Stick Music and uh, apps from sticks and stick two. What does that mean? Another fling downloads. Mega and Z-Link trying to download an eFootball PES, probably another uh, crack or hack, whatever, torrent sites, Yahoo search results. Yo, you're looking at torrent sites with Yahoo? 
What game is this? <laughs> Free download manager, Minecraft Dart RAR. And that's about it. That's all you needed to know. 731 megs, probably packed, bloated info stealer malware right there. Oh, that hit him right in the Minecraft. That got him right then and there. Eagle, e eaglercraft.com. What? Uh, what? Can we put this in the video? Can we? Is this okay? Can we can put this go in the video? I mean, we've, we've already done whatever that person's desktop was some time ago, so this is probably fine. Downloading sexwiththedevil.rar and everything else in the downloads here is the, that. Our pack launcher. Our pack launcher, of course. Granny chapter two? <laughs> they have three tabs open for this. They're trying really hard to get this file. There's Repack Games again. Call of Duty Black Ops free download. Yeah, okay. Annihilation content pack. Escalation first strike content pack. Yeah, run the game as admin. <laughs> That's how they get you. That's how they always get you. Repack Games. This entire video. Okay, this entire video is just a celebration. A real big showcase of how Repack Games is just gonna give you malware. It's just gonna be an info stealer. Oh, they had Windows updates open. Probably trying to figure out what's going on with their computer. Another one, now checking Task Manager with AVG up and at them. AVG secure browser setup, AVG running. Yeah, man, InfoStealer Malware are just gonna slip right past some of these uh, antivirus engines. Well, we saw HP, we saw Malwarebytes, we saw McAfee. I don't know if this is AVG running locally or if it's just the browser, but goodness. And Steam. Man, you know what? Okay, we have gone through a lot. We have uh, looked through a good amount of screenshots and I think there are a couple things that ring true. People are crazy, for one thing. Uh, Info Stealer Malware is running rampant, especially for game hacks, cheats, mods, all these things that allow you to, I don't know, tamper with, or any other software. Crack Software, FL Studio as an example, and some of those adult website stuff. That's, uh, look, look, look. Uh, we're all people, we're all human, we're all vulnerable, and we could make a lot of these mistakes, and maybe anyone could just very well get infected, myself included. I'm sure there'll be a day when I'm hacked, when I've got some malware hitting me up, and uh, we're all gonna be staying vigilant for it the best that we can. But, if I may, I do think, look, you can get a little bit ahead of it, you can stay ahead of the curve, and not let the adversaries have the information advantage. With that, hey, please do give some love to our sponsor, link to Flare in the video description. Thank you so much for watching, please do all those YouTube algorithms them things like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next video let me know if you like this let me know if this was a little too weird um but we could just do this forever not gonna lie this could be an infinite content farm um granted some of it is still squeamish but thanks for bearing with me i hope that was eye-opening at the very least thanks for watching